So I want to bring on my guest today who is a water expert, a water investor, a sustainability pioneer, Thomas Schumann. Thank you for being with me. Thank you, Elizabeth. Thanks for having me. Is water a limited resource? Obviously, right now we're having issues, but I think I read something about pulling water from the air to make more yeah. water and moving water from Greenland. Maybe you can tell me about these two projects. Water is not, is not and this is very, very important to understand because there's always the argument for scarcity and there's not enough water. It's, it's Again, it's a distribution problem. We have atmospheric um, uh, uh, um, uh, uh, rivers uh, that, that, that that they're huge, that they're tremendous. So water has not changed its uh, its volume since um, you know since the um, since the start of Earth. It just changed its form because it uh, it manifests itself in three different uh, uh, in three different forms. There's liquid, there's the gas, and there's also um, I see. There's also the um, the the ice form. Um, the uh, the the director of the uh, United Nations University Institute in Canada for Water Health and uh, the Environment just came out last week. It was published on the Hill, um, in the Hill, the newspaper in the Hill, mm -hmm. and he, he published published a new book uh, and calls all nations to tap into unconventional water resources. Water resources we haven't considered yet, which is, for example, the Arctic, which is the Antarctica. Atmospheric water generation, water from air. The Egyptians have mm -hmm. done that thousands of years ago. Uh, water found deep in sea and land-based aquifers. Uh, water that is is held and transported in thousands of tankers and ships for for ballast. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, also towing and carving icebergs. So there, mm -hmm. there are all kinds of different unconventional sources we haven't even looked yet. But wouldn't that be working against ourselves by impacting icebergs? Don't we need those icebergs to keep global temperature mitigated? Global well, temperature at increases. The, at, the moment, mitigated? at the moment, one of the challenges we have, uh, you know, with with the Arctic and Antarctic is sea level rise. So if we right, can mitigate yes. sea level rise and all these these trillions of liters of water that are running off every year into the oceans and becoming uh, non usable mm. because uh, they're becoming. Uh, um, uh, ocean salt water, you know, let's start there. Let's capture the water there. But in, 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 in all reality, it's, it's again, very, very simple. It starts with human behavior, with changing of habits, with changing of uh, perspectives and paradigms. And it really, at the bottom, it is reduce, reuse, recycle. Say that again. It's, it's reduce, reuse, recycle. Okay. And that's for, that, that goes for everything. That goes for everything. 